Hey babes and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today is a very natural and easy makeup tutorial but the thing about it is that it is 100% vegan. I only used 100% vegan and cruelty free makeup products. Also the brushes obviously but I'm not really talking about them in this video that much. Uh, but the makeup is 100% vegan and uh, can I say vegan more? No I cannot I think. And also my pink roots, they are not permanent. They're just like spray dye because I was bored, but it looks weird. So let's just not think about that. <laughs> so yeah, if you wanna see how I created this makeup look and see all of the vegan products, then keep on watching. For foundation, I will use this matte clay foundation from the Body Shop in the shade 12. And I will use that with a damp beauty blender that is vegan also. <laughs> and I do have a full video on this foundation where I tried it out for the first time. So if you want to see that, then I will link it up here somewhere and also down below. And then for a new product that I have never used before, it is the Anastasia Concealer. And this is in the shade 0.5 and I actually got this from my friend Emily just because it's too light for her. Uh, and it's the first time that I'm trying it and I'm super excited about it. And also I'm super excited that it's vegan, I had no idea. Oh, this is very creamy. It is very light, which I love. But I normally don't love concealers that comes in a jar. But this one was very creamy, I didn't think it would be. So I'm going to conceal and also highlight with this. And again with the Beauty Blender. Look how much that brightened. I love it. Right now at least. <laughs> We'll see how it lasts throughout the day and if it like creases a lot. It always creases on me though, so. Then for powder, I would use the Neve Cosmetics Drama Matte Powder. You guys know that I absolutely love the Velvet Matte. This one is not as good, but I still really like it. Okay, I forgot that I was going to use the Stick Foundation Contour Shade in Fawn from Anastasia. But maybe I can still. I really, really like the shade Fawn in the contour palette, so I guess it's like the same shade. And that one is like my favorite contour shade. And it looks exactly like that, so I'll use that a little bit there. Lucky enough, I didn't use that much powder. So it works. It worked, I'm just scared of like blending out this because I don't want to get like pink on my forehead, which I think I already do have. And now for blush, I will use the Urban Decay in Naked Illuminated Powder in Fireball and I will use this as blush. And I must say that I am very impressed by Urban Decay's website because they have listed everything that is vegan very easily. I will link it down below so you can check out for yourself, but it's just, it's so nice when companies do that. They just make it so easy to find the vegan stuff. And then also a new product, even though this looks very gross, it is new. It is the new Skin Frost from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in Crystal Ball and I've only swatched this so this is the first time that I'm using it on my face. It looks very very light but I know that this is like a monochrome highlighter. Okay, I just really want to contour my nose a little bit so for that, just because I powdered my nose quite heavily. Uh, I do not want to go in with a cream, so I will go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit. And now for brows, I will use the Ash Brown Brow Powder Duo from Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
and then I will go in with the clear brow gel and I did check this before and uh, from what I can see it's only the clear brow gel that is vegan just so you guys know for eyeshadow I will use my the body shop eyeshadow palette that I have made myself when I was in London with the body shop so these are like you can push them out so this is customized let's start off with the this shade and it is called 101 and then I will go in with this coral shade that is called 130 and I will use it in the crease and underneath my eyes and then I will go in with this lighter corally pink shade that is called 125 and I will use it in the inner corner and middle of my lid. And then I will go in with the Nabla Dazzle Liner in Purity and I will use it in my inner corner. And then I will go in with the same highlighter and I will use it on top of the inner corner liner and also on my brow bone. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to use the tattoo liner from Kat Von D. And then I will go in with the Big Bold Mascara from Isadora and the Rogue and Rogue Lashes in Nirvana. I'm watching you Shane and Ryland and <laughs> I don't know, I just love them so much. Alright, and now to go with the peachy theme, I will go in with the matte lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in peachy. Alright, I try to not overline my lips as much as I usually do, but I don't know if I succeeded. I think I did. If you haven't seen, I've actually swatched all of the 30 shades that Anastasia Beverly Hills have in their matte collection. Uh, that I can also link up here and also down below if you want to see all of the 30 shades. Alright, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love this. I think this is a great look for like an everyday. It's very easy to do. You just put on like two eyeshadows very quick with the same brush. A cute nude lipstick, peachy nude. Um, and uh, everything is vegan, which is... Amazing. Actually, I think that a lot of makeup is vegan now, but I would really like brands to market their products that are vegan a lot easier. Like for example, the Anastasia lipstick, uh, like on the packaging that it comes in, it says that it's vegan and vegetarian, but it doesn't say on the packaging and I would really love to have it like here somewhere because I know that some brands have that, like for example, the Body Shop foundation it says right up here the first thing that you can read is that it says 100% vegan also the Neve cosmetics powder says that it's vegetarian and vegan for example and I would really love to see more brands do that I don't know why wouldn't they really I think it will be the new thing like in a couple of years, I really hope that all makeup will be vegan. Until then, I'm very happy that I have a lot of vegan products in my makeup collection that I actually didn't know. Like for example, the Urban Decay products. I knew that they were cruelty free, but I didn't know that they were vegan. So that is awesome. All right, so that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this and want me to do more 100% vegan makeup tutorials, Please give this video a thumbs up so I know I absolutely loved making this. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Maybe you're new here, then just click the subscription button and you will be subscribed. Also, if you would like to turn on the notifications, then please do that. It is right by the subscription 
<laughs> subscription button. It's the bell that you can just click and you will get notified as soon as I upload videos, which is great. So yeah, that's it. I hope you have a great day and I hope we'll see each other in my next video. Bye!